making my way downtown. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? There's there's no downtown over here, but I'm here with everything Apple Pro. We're about to do some uh, cool stuff. We got a burned phone, phone or something. <laughs> no. I don't know what happened. But we got this uh, bumper case, impact protection, and we got a DJI, and we got a, a few iPhone, new iPhones, a bunch of cases. So we'll see what happens. We'll test them out. All right, so today I got the Rhino Shield crash guard that Rhino Shield so graciously provided. I've got a screen protector for the front and back, and I've got brand new iPhone 7s that they also so graciously provided. So thank you, Rhino Shield. I would love to test your case. So today we're gonna be taking it up to 100 feet, 200 feet, maybe even higher, if we can do that, on the DJI Phantom. I've never even done something like this on this channel, so I think it'll be exciting, pretty cool. Can the iPhone 7 survive from a crazy height in this bumper case for the iPhone 7? and 7 plus so let's do this uh, I've got a little setup here nothing too fancy but hopefully we can drop it from a distance and have something cool happen <laughs> hopefully not a broken phone um, but the thing is we dropped this thing from like 50 feet already and it survived so can it go higher I'm assuming so so we'll see now why the suits fill up I, um, I really don't know he stopped by my house today and he was wearing a suit so I put mine on I mean why not the we, occasion calls for it we Unboxed. look good in this anyway so why not Hey, don't flatter yourself. You don't know that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and unbox the iPhone 7. And I don't know why it sent me like a million of these. So a little overkill here, but the iPhone 7, they do come in multiple colors. I think we'll choose the white one. It'll be easier to see in the sky and where it falls. You think so? I think Look, so. The sky is white. I think the phone is black. It's fine. It'll cancel okay, out. So that's a brand new matte black iPhone 7. Never before touched there's a there's an easy tab right there man <laughs> i still don't have an iphone 7 but i will get it soon better man look at this oh man that's so beautiful damn it almost matches my suit this could be a um what's it called on youtube the, you know that you put it on the video what's thumbnail a thumbnail ah there you go i'm so stupid i'm so stupid but yeah it could be a thumbnail like this <laughs> Thumbnail of what? Man uses iPhone in suit. Exactly. Oh, turn it on. It should it should have power. Okay. Man, they make things so complicated. What are you talking about? This is the <laughs> easiest packaging ever. Let's put this shield on first. Supposedly, it's five times more resistant to damage than a glass screen protector. Six layers of protection. And a back protector. So... This is pretty much for the jet black primarily, but it'll protect any iPhone really. And we've got the back one installed. Guys, this took me like 10 seconds to do, so don't judge my quality here. It is protected, so that's what matters. Cool, I like this color. It's like a white on gray. Reminds me of the old bumpers. Very nice and snug fit. Rhino Shield Crash Guard. We are ready to do this. Here we go. Oh shoot, there he goes. Oh! Woo! Woo! Oh my goodness. Holy crap! This thing landed face down and it's still alive. That's a hundred feet. Woo! Look at that. Wow, I'm so impressed, dude. What do you think? Dude, that's awesome. It's 100 dude, feet. I, I can't believe it. it was like. It was so un unexpected, but look at this phone though. What happened? The thing is, the screen didn't break, it just popped out. So, unfortunately, uh, the phone is a little bent, the screen popped out, face down, and it popped out, but it's still working. So, let's take this up to 200 feet in a different iPhone, as this one, uh, I gotta go home and re-secure the display in here. So, this is another iPhone 7. I'm gonna put it in another case, and uh, keep going. <laughs> So take two, 200 feet. There it is, somewhere up in the sky. Oh shoot, there it comes. Woo! Almost hit our uh, slow-mo cameras. <laughs> oh my goodness, so that's 200 feet. Are we gonna get lucky this time as well? And wow, that is 200 feet, still survived. And this time it was a rear impact. The phone looks a little bent to me. That is incredible, wow. So 200 feet, 100 feet, and these guys have survived. So this display is slightly jutting out here as well. I'm gonna try and peel this case back to pop it back in. So while the phone did survive, the uh, 
display is jutting out just a little bit but pop it back in and you should be okay um, the phone believe it or not is not that bent but just a little bit I'd rather have a bent phone than a broken display I'll tell you that so let's take it up as high as we can go and uh, drop it but that is amazing well done well done <laughs> And it's coming. Woo! All right. And that's what it took to finally break this thing 300 feet. So, guys, that is the Rhino Shield Crash Guard. Survived up to 200 feet from a drone drop. I just want to say thank you to my son, Peter, uh, for the help. You guys make sure you follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Pete Second, remember? I just follow him because uh, I keep track of what he's up to. If he does something I don't like, you know, <laughs> I can see right away. <laughs> what do you think overall? It's pretty tough, yeah? Pretty tough, yeah. Would Dude, you use this on your phone? I would definitely, most definitely recommend this. Well, this is very, very... I got enough uh, for 20 people, so I'll Good hand stuff. you one. All right, cool. So, not bad, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to grab one of these. Peace.